Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about commandment two in the uh, the Ten Commandments of Egoless Programming. So let's get into it. So the second commandment in Egoless Programming is you are not your code. And I think this is a good insight and it's something that is very hard and I think that quite a lot of people still have problems even when they become fairly senior to deal with this fact. What this commandment basically means is that you should have the perspective that there is a difference between the code that you write and your ego. I know that sounds very obvious, but you have no idea how personal people take it when you discuss their code. It's like treading on eggshells with some people. It's really sensitive. There are so many people, and it's not just about code, honestly. It's about values as well. I don't know how many times I've had like really long argument. I, honestly, I stopped doing this a while back now. I just, if I hear that I'm dealing with a philosopher, I like the philosopher programmers, who believe that, or like, who are very philosoph philosophically minded and really wants to take the argument every single time and really wants to push it, and they will not give up until you succumb to their point of view. I just, I don't have the energy to fight with them anymore. It, it, there are, you should know this, there are so many people who are really sensitive about their code. And about, because at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that you have made something, you have thought about something that, may, that usually you think is something that is really good. And then you have someone who may or may not feel the same way. And that is a problem with the ego. And if you can understand that when you write software, you are not being judged based on that software. The only people who judge you harshly or whatever over the software that you write are people who are either themselves extremely sensitive about these, so these sorts of things or people who don't understand the context of the software that you write. Now, if you write code as a junior developer, you're going to feel like your code is shit. And you may even be in an in even worse situation. Someone might actually come along, especially it's going to be extra hard when it's a more senior developer and say they will go, yeah, this code is absolute shit. But just think about that for a moment. Why does that, like, wh why does that matter? You're a junior developer. So if you have written something that isn't ideal, in the start of your career. Why are you sensitive about that? For me, it's a very similar sort of thing as when someone wants to learn a new language. If you sat down with me, now I'm just assuming that you're not Swedish. If you came to me, I have actually helped people to teach people Swedish. If you try to talk to me in my native language and you're not at my level, isn't it obvious that your, like your, your Swedish is going to be worse than mine? I have, uh, you, you should hear my, uh, I don't know, my Spanish or my, uh, my French. Like I can't speak a word of French. It, it's, it, it's, of course I'm not going to be able to produce at the, uh, to speak as a native speaker. And just as a junior developer will not be able to write code at the senior level. And you, it, it, this is a perspective that is actually very healthy for both the senior developer and the junior developer. The junior developer, you will feel, and this is natural, it's so natural for you to, to feel like you're not good enough. It's the same thing with language. Anybody who wants to speak a language feels dumb as fuck when they talk to a native speaker. It's really intimidating because you feel like you're not good enough. And no, you're not good enough, but you have to be able to be okay with the fact that you start out somewhere and then you improve as you go along. And the more you practice, the better you will, you will get. And if you can distance yourself from the code that you write and just write a piece of shit code and go, yeah, this wasn't ideal, but that's okay because I'm gonna try it again. And then I'm gonna try it again. And then I'm gonna do it again and again and again. And I will do this until it's not a piece of shit anymore. If you can get to that point 
it will help you enormously and it will be the essence of this idea this commandment is about that you are not your code and the senior developer should also have that perspective if you have a junior developer writing some bad code it really like really do you feel the need to hammer them over that fact or maybe you could just take the approach that well maybe i can adjust this maybe i can tell them that okay you should do things in this way or that way and actually help them because they are supposed to be a beginner i mean how many fa like okay the, some fathers do this but good fathers or good mothers usually try to help their kids adjust when they do something that is incorrect they don't just yell at them or like make them feel stupid they try to educate them in some fashion so what i want you to take away from this is that the idea that you should distance yourself from your code or that you are not your code is a very important topic in for your emotional well-being as a software developer because the worst thing that you can do is to and to connect the two to make yourself feel as if your code is a very is very intimately connected to your identity and you as a person which means that if somebody criticizes your code you take it very personally and you get in a defensive mindset that's very bad because that's not mean that means that people are very uh, you're more likely to get into confrontation you're more likely to have introvert people or shy people not help you or tell you about things you create a much more hostile environment for yourself and you're going to learn less all of these things are coming your way and you will limit yourself in more ways than you can think of i promise you and all that you have to do to solve this problem is to understand that everybody makes mistakes everybody writes shit code and then you repeat those mistakes until you don't make them anymore that's the process of learning everybody does it even the master programmers you think that the best programmers in the world that they never made any mistakes they made more mistakes than anybody else and that is the common denominator between you and every other programmer on this planet you have to be okay with the fact that you're going to make mistakes and when you can distance yourself from the work that you produce and just objectively say well this wasn't perfect but that's okay because i'm going to try it again and then i'm going to make it perfect get into that headspace and it will it will help you so much have a great day